Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. We are back with another vlog. Much mm -hmm. Wow. How big they are, so big. Oh, oh, oh don't chew that. No, not the microphone. I love you. Kisses? Kisses? He does know kisses. Eh, eh. Kisses? Ralph gets so jealous. Wow. Kisses? Match? Matchy kisses. Oh. <laughs> Stop chewing the microphone. Your name's not. Oh. He just bodied. He just bodied Matchy out of the way. Anyway, we're going to take them out for a little walk. Well, we don't go for a walk anymore, we go to a dog park. And I've got so much on today. We're going to do some um, sanding of a piece of wood. <laughs> Wow, fun. <laughs> no, it is fun, trust me. I brought the piece of wood, I brought it the other day. So I'm all ready to go today. Sand it, get it oiled, get it all put together. Well, I don't know if I'll put it all together today, but we're gonna start it. See, I'm looking forward to today. I'm gonna get the dog's harnesses on and get him going. Oh, little one. <laughs> you can't come out here. <laughs> Good for you, Good for you. Anyway, I wanted to introduce you to a uh, little Pluto. This is Pluto. He's a little, little baby. He's about five months old now. I've had him, I reckon, about a month. He's so sweet. <laughs> Aren't you lovely baby? Aren't you having a nap? Oh, and Ralph loves you. Anyway, the situation with, with him was, I was just on TikTok and then I saw that someone found a dog on Gumtree that was for free and they went home and picked it up. So I was like, oh, I wonder if that, like, there's free animals here. Cause really you shouldn't give animals away for free. And I was just wondering like if there was any. So I ended up going on Gumtree and then I saw Pluto free to a good home. Anyway, I messaged the uh, the person who was giving them away. And yeah, now, now he's here with me. So. I don't know, I, I just don't like the idea of giving animals away, especially cats and small cats for free because somebody could just come around pretending that they're, you know, got good intentions when they don't at all and they can use kittens and cats for bait. And I'm not saying that, you know, that would have happened, I'm just saying there's a possibility that it would have happened and um, you just never know. And I thought, right, that's, yeah, I've got to get him. So yeah, now he's, <laughs> now he's here. You love him, don't you? You love Pluto, don't you? Yeah, mommy, yeah. I'm just gonna make their breakfast now because you don't like dog food. Well, you don't, you eat dog food actually, but Matchy doesn't. Matchy's very picky, isn't he? Oh, yes, mommy, he is. It's a, yeah. Oh, he's tired. Give him some um, diced beef. Just let it cook with some water. And they'll have that for breakfast and dinner. They do have their dry biscuits as well, but I don't always just like to give them dry biscuits, so yeah. <laughs> I made a lovely chili con carne yesterday. Ooh, it's actually really nice. I've never made it before. My mum always made it back at home and yeah, it's really nice, so. I just asked her, how do I do it? <laughs> well, how do I do her recipe? And she actually puts baked beans in. So it's like a tin of red kidney beans, uh, one tin of tomatoes, chopped, diced, chopped, diced tomatoes, whatever. And one tin of baked beans in the sauce. And then your mince and your bread pepper and onion. And then the packet sauce of chili con carne. I don't, I didn't buy all the spices separately to do it because I just thought there's no point. But yeah, it's really good. And just have it with some bread. I'm back, I'm ready, I'm ready to do some woodwork. I've already just had another accident. Like what is with me and water today? I don't know, but I'm soaked. This is my piece of wood. I forgot what it was. I think it's like a spotted ash. I don't know, I can't remember. But I'm gonna use it as a coffee table. I've got some legs. These are legs. I'm gonna go like this, but this is the top. I have not done woodwork in, gosh, Oh, ages. I, I mean like five, five years maybe? I reckon five years, maybe longer. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I've got all my tools. I've been getting little bits and bobs ready for me to start again. So let's go. Yeah, this is the, uh, I had a little spillage here. <laughs> that must just be part of the wood, the grain. 
But isn't it beautiful? It's so nice. I've got some filler for this because the man recommended not to epoxy fill it. It's just like this black filler. It's kind of like your normal wood filler and in the way that it you put the, I don't know, the hardener in it and then it just goes hard. And then you can just sand it and that's pretty much it. You don't need to do anything else with it and then you can just oil it. It's a black carbon body filler, so yeah, gotta figure that out. Gotta fill all these cracks in, all this. I don't think that's, mm, that needs doing. All of that would need doing. I need to kind of make that look nice and not just, you know, I don't want to just be black bit there. And all these little cracks here. I've worked with filler before, but this is completely different to what I'm used to. That's fine. That's enough. Oh, this glove's a bit big for me. I keep getting my fingers stuck. I haven't got long once I've mixed this. It doesn't matter if you um, get this on the wood, as long as you like fill in the gaps, because it all sands off really easily. It sounds more quick with it. I'll just move about everything else. what's going to look like well after I've done all the filler I've just filled in all the cracks um, I probably need to have to actually go over little places wait for it to dry and sink in and I'll probably just go over it again but once it's all dried I'm going to sand it and obviously these big bits you won't see that you'll just see all the cracks filled in and it'll look really nice I'm just gonna wait half an hour now for it to dry <laughs> dry now so I'm going to attempt to sand and just see what it's like I've got my hardest grit on well 60 grit I've just tried a little bit and <clears throat> I think I might need a bout sander yeah. actually come out all right it's just now that I've done that I feel like I'm gonna have to do all this bit here because I've not filled these cracks in here see how it's filled it all in it does look good but now because I've done these bits here I don't know if I need to fill these bits in because it's gonna look different now that needs filling all these cracks need filling. See, I'm not used to this. This is like my first time doing this. So first time doing this black filler. So now I'm just like learning as I go along, but I think I need a bout sander because this is just like not it. <laughs> this is taking me forever. Like it's bloody warm as well. Like I still got so much to do. Hmm. Right, I'm back to it. I went to a uh, Bunnings. I got. 40 grit. I didn't buy a bout sander, they told me not to. I got a chisel to help get ow, those bits off and I got a face mask because it was so dusty. I completely forgot how dusty woodwork is. Uh, I, I, why am I like this? Why? I, I spilled coffee all down me. Great. Right. Had my lunch, feel ready to go again. There's still quite a bit to do with this table. Um, Change the pads over so now I've got like a 40 grit. Um, I'm hoping to kind of get it done today but I don't know if I'll be able to in the time that I want this vlog to go up so um, we might have to finish it another day but we'll see how I go. Right, I'm going to carry on sanding. So this is what it looks like after sanding it. See all these little speckly bits. Well when you put the oil on that would come out black. Now I've got an issue here. I think I'm supposed to fill this. The thing is, I don't want to scrape it off. It's going to keep taking chunks and chunks out. There's nowhere else for it to break off, so I'm going to have to fill these little bits here and some here as well. Maybe that big bit there. I tried to sand it down perfect, but I don't know if it's going to work. I decided to put more 
carbon filler on it because it was just such a big chunk and it wouldn't look right so i've kind of just done like the whole thing i'm so tired i'm sure i've been at the sanding for like whoa, hours but i've finally done it i've done it down to 150 grit i could have gone to 240 but it's okay like i'm not selling it it's just for me so i'm not really fussed i just want to get the oil on so i'm just gonna blow it down and then oil it has come out really beautiful. I've only put one coat on at the moment. I'm gonna let it dry, sink in, and I'll do another coat. I'm gonna let that dry, flip it over, fit the underneath, because I need to put this steel, just so it stops it from bowing, which it shouldn't do, but it always, it's always good to have it. And then I'm gonna fit the legs, and then buff the top, and then that should be done, but I'm gonna leave it for today, and, Come back next time for the final reveal finished coffee table. I have got another table to do as well. It's this one. It's just gonna be like a little side table. So that could be next time too. Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna go and feed Monty. I know he'll be waiting for his dinner. I'm just gonna go and get changed and then go and feed um, Monty. A few moments later. I just had an absolute mare. I drove over this water pipe and I don't normally come to the stables at this time. It's like, I don't know, like 12 o'clock. <laughs> the water pipe burst so I'm there like trying to put it back together I don't know why because there's so much water coming out and the whole thing just went <laughs> no yeah no no absolutely <laughs> absolutely drenched <laughs> well it's all good I think the water's from the pond as well the... nice just grabbed um, some food for Monty from the farm shop. I'm just gonna put it in my stable. I don't know I'm gonna put this. I've got no room. I'm gonna have to sort this out today because I've got all the rugs everywhere. I've got these poles. There's just everything everywhere. It's very messy. Let's put it, oh, here. I did my, um, I think I've done my rotator cuff. Oh, I was throwing Monty's poo into the back of the ute. And I have it in those feed bags and it's so heavy. I don't know why I did it, but I threw it like this. I went like this. Oh. And yeah, I've done my shoulder. I hope it's not bad, but it was, that was like three weeks ago and it still hurts, so I've just hurt it again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Monty, what's his din dins? What are you doing Oh, he's my lovely boy. Kisses. <laughs> Mon, try and teach him kisses. Kisses? <laughs> but now he expects a carrot. All right, kisses, kisses, <laughs> kisses. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. He's like, I already gave you a kiss. Just give me the flipping carrot. I've got to put his hay in the hay net. Which one is it? Purple one. Julia has hay once a day. Doesn't have a lot. Doesn't need a lot. He's got loads of grass. All this grass has splinters in it. Not splinters, you know them sharp thistles. Oh, I hate touching it. Goes my finger. So this is our routine every day. I come around this time, 3 p.m., and then I fill his hay net up, give him his dinner, take his rug off whilst he's eating his dinner, give him a brush, do his poo picking, put his rug back on, and that's it. Just put his hay net over. Sorry, months. By the way, remember my last vlog? I had a routine for poo picking. Well, it's all changed now. Before, I had a wheelbarrow and a fork, but because the grass is really long here and there's loads of weeds, I have to use my hands. But I have gloves on, so it's okay. Anyway, I've got my pee bags, wheelbarrow, time to bring it back. I reckon let's start up here. Yeah, I, there's probably an easy way to do this, but I don't know, I kind of like it. Relaxing in a way. I don't mind the smell of horse poo either. It doesn't bother me. I did seven bags of poo. I just finished, it took me like an hour. It was about, I counted, I'm averaging about 10 poos per bag. So that's about 70 poos, wow. That's crazy. Anyway, I've done it all now, so I could do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. I'll see 
you again tomorrow. That's just our routine. Like every day, feed him, take his rug off, do his hay, do his poo picking, and see him again next day. Bye, months. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Oh. And that is the end of the vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. So next time I'll be finishing the table so you get to see the finished product of that. I'll be starting the other table and something to do with my car. So look forward to that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time for more. Love you, bye.